Hello, today we will see how to make an FTA graph in Excel. At the end of the video, the graph will look like this. So kindly follow all of the steps. We have first button values of four different samples and a wave number. We will, we will normalize all of the data for all of the samples. For this, we will be using this formula. We will normalize each of the data. So we will say normalize one, two, three, and four. In the formula, we need maximum and the minimum values. So we will do the maximum and the minimum value for each of the data set. Find the maximum using the function max and then go to the column B, just select this one, close the bracket and press enter. Similarly, go with the minimum one. Select sample, select the column, close the bracket. And for the difference, you can do maximum minus minimum and it will give you the difference. So now normalize the data. Select the value minus minus the minimum one and divide it with difference and press enter. You can close the bracket. Let me shift it here. Now we need to make these constant values. So th for this, we need to insert the dollar sign. Insert the dollar sign to the maximum and to the difference value, press enter. Now select the data and move the cursor. When you see this black cursor, double click and it will normalize the data to the end. Push your cursor on the top, hold the control button and press the down arrow shift. And you can see that the data is normalized for the final value. So it means that the data has been normalized for, in, for the entire range. This is done for sample one. You need to do it for all of the samples. Just drag this one and it will bring the maximum and minimum one for the entire range. You can see from here, this is for the C and the C is sample two. Now drag this one and bring it here. It will automatically apply the formula and you will get it. Now double click this one. It will normalize the data for the entire range. When you are done, insert more columns. Now we will give a shift. We call it a shift. I call it a shift. You can uh, normalize shift and then give it four values. After doing so, select the first data and add three to the value. Drag it down and it will do for the rest. Similarly do for the second one. But this time add six. Drag it to the down. Similarly for the third one. Add nine and follow the procedure for the last one 12 now your data is completed so select the wave number column and then press the whole shift and select all of them and go to insert button and select chart in this way you will see your data is shifted uh, is plotted now we will format the our FTA get graph. For this, we know in FTA get graph, the x axis goes from maximum to the minimum value, that is, the values are in the reverse order. So, double click on the x axis and it will open the format axis option. You can go down to the and here you will see values in reverse order. Just click on them, go to the minimum one and add 500 since my values are till 500. But if your values are till 400, you can choose 400 and choose the maximum one as 4000 and then close it. In this way, your x axis value will be. Uh, in reverse order move this uh, y-axis on the other side double click on the y-axis click on the y-axis to open format axis option go down and here you will see label open the label option and then choose high and uh, it will move your y-axis to the uh, left side of the plot the uh, axis to the graph for this select the chart and on the right side you will see a plus option open this one and then click access title it will open the access title and give the x-axis as wave number and the unit is centimeter minus one if you want to make this minus one as a superscript, so after selecting right click and then choose font option and here you will see superscript. Just click this one, select this one and press OK and it will make minus one as a unit uh, um, superscript. Select this uh, Y axis value and press delete button from the keyboard because we do not need these values and then drag this axis title value to the Y axis. Double click on this one and here insert intensity with a unit of A dot U. In this way your axis title are inserted. Now select this intensity text, go to the uh, 
uh, format option make it as black color and go to the home option again choose the size as per your convenience i will choose the size of 14 uh, do the similar with the y-axis and also first go to the format option make it bold and uh, uh, black in color and then also give it the size of uh, 14. similarly choose the x-axis values and also uh, follow the same procedure and give them the same font style and color now choose these grid lines double click on them it will go to the uh, format magic grid line here you will uh, choose the option of no line similarly uh, you choose the uh, other uh, grid lines and here also choose the no line option in this way they will be removed select this chart uh, option again double click on them and it will open format plot area and increase the width to 1.5 this way it will make a very beautiful border and without uh, any grid lines on the on the chart uh, select this plus button again and uh, uh, unselect this legend option to remove these uh, uh, legends set the graph uh, dimensions i will set the graph dimensions a bit we'll see that uh, how we can add a line on a specific uh, wave number values suppose we want to mark uh, the values on uh 2750 1500 and 100 wave, num wave number uh, select right click on the x-axis and select uh, data uh, go to the option add and uh, add the uh, x-axis value uh, give the value of the desired one you want for example 2750 add it twice and in the y-axis give uh, two values let's say uh, zero and two and then press ok in this way a small line will be inserted on uh, 27 50 and uh, uh, repeat the same uh, procedure for the uh, other two values that is 1500 and 1000 uh, to uh, add three lines uh, you can add as many as you want and uh, by following the similar procedure go to the insert option and then choose the shape option here you will select the single line and then drag it uh, the line to the top by holding the shift button and you hold the shift button the line will be like uh, the line will be straight vertical and you can zoom it and you can see that if, uh, if your line starts right from the axis uh, after doing so you can just uh, press ctrl shift and drag the line to the uh, close to the you know, to the three lines now you can select the uh, individual line and drag it to the top of the uh, top of each line and uh, by doing so uh, you will generate uh, three lines and select this y-axis and choose select data and now you can unselect series five six and seven the one that you have added in this way you will remove the lines and you have a permanent line on your desired uh, uh, wave number values then select these uh, lines and uh, uh, go to the shape format and it can go to the dashes option and choose this uh, dotted line because it looks more uh, beautiful and then you can go to the uh, format option again choose the weight option and choose one as a width uh, to make it professional so from the go to the insert option and uh, choose text uh, option and uh, write the name of the functional group for example this one is of3 i'm giving this arbitrary value and then give the wave number value which you have marked in that particular uh, uh, line and if you want to make it a uh, subscript uh, choose the uh, the value that you want to make a subscript and then right click on uh, on the on the uh, after uh, after selecting right click and choose the uh, font option and then select the uh, subscript now uh, uh, double, uh, go to the home option make it bold and uh, on the now copy it copy individual text option and then uh, pay, uh, bring it to the top of the individual uh, wave individual lines and then change the uh, functional group uh, name and also the wave number name for example this one is 1500 and the other one is 1000 and i have given him the name of uh, let's say cf3 uh, and uh, the wave number is 1000 in this way you have, have marked your corresponding peaks and the functional groups on the respective wave number select all of these functional groups and uh, decrease the size to 8 to make it more professional and drag them to the top of uh, their respective uh, wave number you can uh, change the uh, title of the chart and also make it bold or increase the size if you want to increase it now the final thing that we can do is to add the name of the samples to the corresponding uh, waves for this uh, go to the uh, insert option option choose text box and then uh, write the name for example here i will just write sample one so after writing sample one you can uh, just uh, drag it uh, to the uh, top of the uh, line and then uh, go to the shape format make it uh, black in color and make it bold after doing so you can just uh, copy them and then you can paste it at, uh, for uh, as many uh, samples uh, you have in your FTIR spectra and then drag them to the top of their corresponding uh, uh, spectra and then you can write uh, sample 2 sample 3 alpha beta gamma or whatever samples you have and uh, in this way your FTIR graph is uh, generated and uh, you can uh, right click on the FTIR uh, graph and then uh, 
uh, click on the copy and open the word document where you want to put it and then you can put it like uh, in the form of a uh, you can just uh, simply control v which will uh, allow you to uh, play with your uh fda inspector there also but uh, if you want to put it as a picture you can just right click uh, and then go to the uh, picture option of the paste and in this way your fda gear graph as a picture will be generated if this solves your problem uh, don't forget to subscribe give me a like and a comment and if you have any problem write in the comment box and i will try to address your problem thank you very much